taxi. <laughs> Billy Bolovsky. Yes, yeah, so who needs pleasure? Hello, Billy. How are the trees? Who called a taxi? What do you want, Billy? Uh, you got a message from Mr. Bolovsky? I'm Mr. Bolovsky. Oh, no, no, your brother, Jertsy. You got a message from him? Got a piece of paper. Whoever called the taxi, uh, they can have the message. <laughs> all right, all right. I called the taxi. Okey dokey, Skip. Where do you want to go? I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> well, what the bloody hell do you call a taxi for then? <laughs> I had to come all the way from Brazil for this, you know. <laughs> then stop it out of me wages. You know how much a taxi driver is? I can't even afford to buy new shoelaces. Well, it's a good job you're not the taxi driver then, isn't it? It's a good job of wearing Wellingtons. Look, just give us a note. <laughs> I'm thirsty. It's in the cupboard. Oh, no, not the goldfish. <laughs> Dead worry, goldfish everywhere. I am, in fact, a stunt goldfish. In fact, by the time this programme comes out, I shall be doing the new James Bond film. So, there's no need to write in. Sure, they never read the letters anyway. Oh, pussycat. Here's your Uncle Billy. Here, what are you doing in a bucket? Oh. Come on, everybody, let's play Daleks. Exterminate, 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 exterminate. Here, 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 here. Look, what am I now? What am I now? Come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, what am I now? A pain in the arse. <laughs> no, I'm a hairbrush, don't. OK, let's try another one, let's try another one. Here we go. What am I now? What am I now? Come on. Clinically insane. No, Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Billy. Sir Billy. Ah, uh, Sir Billy. Look, why don't you just go away? Because I've got a message for you. Then get it to us. Oh, doesn't he get excited? Ah! Right, here we are. This is the message. I shall read it to you. Are we ready, clocks? Right, here we... Hang on. There's no words on this. Oh, I think they must have fallen off somewhere, so... Oh, no, it's all right. They're on the other side. That's OK, right. Liam. <laughs> Finders keepers, losers weepers. Rick. <laughs> I've not always been mad, you know, but... Um, I was actually driven mad by the indifference of architects and council planners. You see, I live in a tower block, and um, the thing about those is there's a terrible noise problem because there's no noise or insulation at all. You know, and eight floors below you, there's always some bastard who's got a Yamaha home organ, you know? <laughs> You're just about to go to sleep near this. And like the people who live upstairs from me, I, I can't understand what they're doing. You know, I listen, and all I can hear is this weird noise, and it goes vroom vroom, blam blam, vroom vroom, blam blam. It sounds right. It sounds like two elephants on a motorbike riding round and round, while a seal bangs a kipper on the table. <laughs> I went upstairs to complain, and the door was answered by this elephant in a crash helmet. <laughs> Standing behind him is this seal going, What is it now, Ralph? <laughs> I don't know, it's just something cracked inside, you know, and I, I started thinking I was a piece of sponge, you know, and I just started getting very depressed, and I just got all the down, you know, all the way, and I just got...